Although Georgian forces pulled back today, the front line remains a dangerous and unpredictable place. Late afternoon, we spotted a Russian plane attacking the Georgian town of Gori. It was met with rounds of anti-aircraft fire. Then it wheeled overhead. Possibly a Georgian position was attacked. But then it turned towards us, streaking in low. Three rockets landed close by, spitting out lethal shrapnel. Yep. None of us was injured, but in those moments we understood how some of the local population have experienced this short, bitter conflict. Let's go. That was an example of just how dangerous this front line remains. Although Georgian troops have pulled back, Russian planes are still conducting bombing raids, flying in very low, and on that occasion, directly targeting our vehicles. For these residents, the rockets fell randomly and destroyed their neighborhood. Today, scores were salvaging what they could before leaving forever. I am destroyed, said this woman. Even the walls in my apartment are down. Nothing remains, not even furniture. The Georgian government cited this place as an example of why it was pulling its forces out of South Ossetia. The cost in lives and property has been high, and Russia ruthless in its use of power. Gavin Hewitt, BBC News, Georgia.